In this video, we're going to look again at dividing radicals, but this time, we're going to simplify the radicals first. Take a look at the problem below. Both of them are divisible by 8. However, it might be easier to reduce the radicals first before we reduce the fractions. Using the division property of radicals, we can rewrite this as the square root of 64 divided by the square root of 16. It turns out the square root of 64 is a perfect square and becomes 8. We also know that the square root of 16 is a perfect square, which becomes 4. Using division now and reduce that fraction, 8 divided by 4 is 2. By reducing the fractions first, it actually made the problems a lot harder. If we were to reduce the radicals first, like we did, it actually makes the problem a lot easier. Here's what the problem would look like if we reduced the fractions first. As you see, we can reduce those fractions from 64 over 16 to 8 over 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. There are more steps to do this than there are to reduce the radicals first. However, this is a decision that you are going to have to make depending on the problem. Both are correct. One is more efficient than another depending upon the problem. Let's try another. Copy down the notes before we go on. Copy the following problem, pause the video, and then we will work on the answer. We can see that this radical can be used, broken up using the division property of square roots. We break it up into the square root of 50a squared divided by the square root of 27a to the fifth. This makes the most amount of sense to do here because 50 divided by 27 doesn't reduce. When we do this and try to reduce the radicals in the numerator, we get the square root of 25 times the square root of 2 times the square root of a squared. In the denominator, we get the square root of 9 times the square root of 3 times the square root of a to the fourth times the square root of a. Reducing further, in the numerator, we get 5 times root 2 times a. In the denominator, we get 3 root 3 times a squared times root a. Cleaning the order, we see by cleaning the order, we get 5a root 2 divided by 3a squared square root 3a. One more thing to do, it turns out that we can reduce that fraction even further. a divided by a squared can be reduced to 5 root 2 divided by 3a square root 3a. Again, we have a radical in the denominator, which we will have to take care of later. Please copy the notes. Copy the following problem into your notes, pause the video, and give it a try. Here's the completed problem. Please check your answers and copy it into your notes.